Next question is from Pete on the gram. What are the best workout shoes? Yeah, you know what this reminds me of this question. Um, so first off, it depends on who I'm talking to, and yeah. this is uh, this reminds me of something. So years ago, there was a book that was written about how running barefoot was the best way to run, and it was this author that went and observed people who had run their whole lives barefoot and saw how the foot struck the ground, and it was different than when you have running shoes on and. The yeah. foot and the ankle are these great shock absorbers, and these people are running into their 70s, and they have no back pain. And he's like, we've really screwed ourselves up by wearing running shoes that encourage us to Born hit. to run, I think. The there you go. Yeah. Like and it, you know, they encourage us to hit heel first, and that causes all these problems. Whereas when you run barefoot, or with these people run barefoot, it was forefoot first and all this other stuff. Well, then you had all these people are like, oh my God, groundbreaking, yeah. taking my shoes off, and I'm going to run. And then you had all these injuries. The reason why I had all these injuries is because it's you got to develop the muscles of the foot and the coordination. It's years and years of work. You can't just take your shoes off, expect to run, and have all these amazing benefits. So depends who I'm talking to. If you have stability issues and ankle mobility issues, like am I going to tell you to go barefoot? No, you're going to hurt yourself. You go mm -hmm. barefoot, your feet are so weak and your ankles can't support you. Whatever weight you use to squat and lunge and overhead press and whatever, it's going to cause problems. So ideally, if you've got great control, great mobility, everything's connected, your feet are healthy and strong, barefoot is the best. How many people are like that? Very little. Yeah. So the shoes you choose, they have to match who you are and your issues. And then you can, if you want to progress to less supportive shoes, you can, but it's a, it's a methodical, slow, um, and controlled process. In if you are at that point, barefoot or shoes that have minimal support. But if I throw the average person in minimal support shoes or, or flat footed, I mean, you're going to cause problems because they just, our, our feet are so underdeveloped and our ankles have such poor mobility yeah. because of the way we've treated ourselves for so long that just not a good idea. It's kind of funny that uh, in the fitness industry, we really didn't put any consideration around foot strength or ankle. zero. Yeah, support. Um, and that shoes were a big contributor to that. Uh, and uh, I remember like distinctly when I was training in a facility with like independent trainers, which was a whole nother sort of breed of trainer versus like what I had at 24 hour fitness and everywhere else. And and everybody in there had the 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 finger shoes, the toes, and but also the uh, chucks. And 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 I remember that being like they're cool shoes and, and all, but like I'm like, how do you how do you guys train in these things? That's crazy to me. Like I, I just thought it was crazy. I was all about the Nike shoes that had you know all the support mm -hmm. and um, you know were very much more athletic driven, like for running and all this kind of stuff, but. You know, honestly, the, the worst shoe to, to to bring into the weight room uh, because of you know the the lateral stability it was dog shit. Um, you, you know, it, it was elevating my heels the whole time, um, and so for me to transition even from that kind of a shoe to Chucks was quite a quite a big step. And I remember feeling that difference right away uh, with, uh, how my, my ankles were starting to talk to me, uh, it like worked up the kinetic chain. So it's a very much of a, something that you need to gradually approach if you are to transition to something with less support. Um, but you want to work your way towards something where you do, you are able to, uh, have some flexibility in your shoe. So, you know, your, your foot can, figure out how to stabilize you a little more effectively. Well, what, what are we going to hear? We're going to hear uh, um, Chucks, Metcons, Vans, Vivo, Barefoot, whatever shoes. Like, Minimus. These are, these are, yeah, Minimus, right? These are all going to be the, the top shoes that are going to make this list right here. And the truth is what makes them the top shoes is they're the closest to Barefoot. Exactly. So the the ultimate Bottom goal line. is to be able to get to a place where you can work out Barefoot. I think that's the answer to this. Like, and whatever shoe is closest to But remember, to get to. Right, get to. That's why I'm saying it. it's very similar to the way we talk about squatting ass to grass. Mm -hmm. uh, that it should be a good goal. So if you're if you're not squatting ass to grass right now, it doesn't mean I'm telling you tomorrow you can't break 90 right now. And then you hear on the show I say yeah, go, go force squat. Yourself, yeah. yeah, don't go don't go get down there just if, just because we say to do that, but work towards that. Work work on the mo hip mobility and ankle mobility to be able to get into a deep squat. The same thing goes with barefoot training. And what does that look like? Well, it looks like first walking around barefoot. 
Like if you don't take your shoes right now, if the only place you ever take your shoes off is like before you go to bed, like you ought to practice that first. Like anytime I'm at a place where it doesn't like require I have shoes, like obviously I'm not some weirdo when I go into, you know, the grocery store and shit, I'm walking in there barefoot and stuff like that, or walking around out here in, in public downtown like that. But you bet when I get home, one of the first things that comes off are my shoes. My shoes come off and I'm barefoot. Second thing is the shirt. Any, anytime. Yeah, I don't yes. need any hepatitis C. And then when <laughs> I'm in, in the backyard with Max and we're playing in the sand and the tan bark and the dirt, like 100% we're barefoot. Yep. Like so, and, and that's how it started for me was, and by the way, like uh, it was just not that long ago where my I, my feet were completely asleep and I had no connection to them and I couldn't squat ass to grass and they, my feet both pro, pronated. So I was a mess here. So it's not like this is going to take you forever to do this but it just starts with those practices first it starts with you first doing those little things by taking the shoes off and walking around barefoot then you can start doing some body weight type mm -hmm. of movements work on stability right so this is where a place where before i go and throw 400 pounds on my back and squat barefoot i'm going to do some you know lunges to a balance barefoot you know i'm going to do some things that are single leg so mm -hmm. i have to work on that ankle stability and strength and foot strength at the same time but Build build those muscles up. Get strong in your feet. Yeah. I have specific shoes I wear for specific lifts, and that's just because I, I don't take the time necessarily to go and really develop my feet and my ankles. Just you know, full disclosure. So when I deadlift, I like very flat shoes. I wear chucks when I deadlift. If I overhead press, I also like to wear chucks. If I'm barbell squatting, I wear squat shoes because the heel is elevated and it compensates for my lack of ankle mobility. If I'm doing anything on a bench, I don't care because my feet really don't matter if I'm sitting or laying on a bench. So that's the way you got to think about it. Like, what are you willing to do? What are you willing to work towards? But don't go barefoot for the sake of going barefoot. If you don't have the, the right stability and strength in your feet and you just go and take off your shoes or go super flat, you're setting yourself up for potential injury and pain. Even walking barefoot. I've even had people say, Oh, I took all my shoes off and just walked barefoot. And then they get, you know, they get issues with the bottom of their feet. And they're like, why am I, why am I getting fascia issues? And it's like, well, you always walk around in heels. So it's a slow, gradual process. Our bodies have totally adapted to wearing shoes. And if you've ever looked at a picture of a hunter gatherer's foot next to a modern person's foot, okay. it is interesting. Forget the the Those bottom are gnarly looking. Forget the bottom of the foot with the thick skin and all that stuff. Just look at the top of the foot. Like toes are spread out and open, and it's like this nice, They're like muscular, wide, yeah. strong foot. And then you got the modern feet where the toes are all brought together and at weird angles, crushed. crushed. And it's like <laughs> we've really done a number of ourselves. And by the way, some of this damage can be reversed, not all of it. Uh, if you have children. Do this when they start walking. This is how you prevent these issues. Because once you go past a certain point, you can fix some of it. Like Adam's fixed a lot of it, but will he ever have the kind of feet that he would have? Like my son when he was. A I won't kid? have feet like my son. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, I'm doing the same thing with my with my yeah. baby son, right? Um, so some of the damage. And you ever look at pictures of like pro basketball players? To their oh, feet. Yeah. So oh, it's terrible. Well, because they had such big feet, they probably couldn't get shoes yeah. that fit properly. And they got these weird. You they imagine if you imagine if there. a pro basketball player is like, "Oh, I heard barefoot was good. I'm gonna go play pro. You know, I'm gonna go play basketball with no shoes on. It would hurt themselves like crazy." It's just word of caution. That's all. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here, and be sure to subscribe.